Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to take a little look at the Drennan Red Range fishing reel. Later on in the video I will show a few clips of me using this reel. So I wanted to make a video about this reel because I've had it for probably six years now. So I've been using it for let's say six years. This is the, the feeder reel. You can also get the float reel. I did have that, but I no longer have it. And I'll, I'll go into that later on. But um, I just wanted to do a quick review and I talk about this reel. So this is uh, made by Drennan. It's called Red Range and it's like a budget reel. It's quite cheap. I think I paid around 25 pounds for it with um, a single spare spool. So since then I've added another spool. So you can see I have uh, mine, I've got two spools. So I have one with eight pound, one with six pound, and one with four and a half pound, just to cover um, different fishing scenarios. So let's look at the reel. So um, first of all, I liked the color of the reel. I thought it looked quite unique. And it has a nice feature where instead of undoing the one side of the um, of the handle, it just flicks out with a latch. Like so, and then you just push a button in and it folds away again. So that's a nice feature and that works really well. And I can say that because I've owned this reel for so many years, I pretty much know what, it's, what it can do and what it can't do and whether or not it's, it can be recommended. So I would personally recommend it, um, bearing in mind the price point. So that's one nice feature it has. It's also quite a smooth reel. And I like the fact that it has, um, the bail arm is black and it's quite thick metal. That's a nice feature too. So taking a look at the spools, this was probably the biggest reason why I bought this reel. It has shallow spools. So one thing I have found with most reels on the market that you buy, they have really deep spools and that means that you need to put hundreds of meters of line on. So some reels you probably need to put 250 meters of, of line on and most spools come in sort of 100 meters, 150 meters. So you need to buy bulk spools um, they're quite expensive or you need to add backing line and I don't really like to do that so these reels have very shallow spools so you don't need as much line for example uh, on this uh, spool it says 100 meters of 0.22 millimeter diameter so your standard kind of um, feeder line it only needs to take around 100 meters for it to be ready to go and that's a really nice feature. Uh, the line clips work quite well too. They're not um, aluminium spools, they are just plastic, but um, they, they do the job quite well. Another really good feature with these is that you get, when you buy the reel, you get these little inserts and they have the, the strength of the line and it has it in pounds or in diameter. So for example, you can put four pound line on your spool and then add one of these tabs so that you know what line it has. Um, so you can have, add the four pound tab or you can add another tab, which is the diameter, say 0.2 um, millimeter diameter, whichever you prefer. And these just stick in to the end here, little rubber inserts, really nice feature. And you can see on mine, this one is six pound, this one is eight pound, and that is 4.4 pound. So I have a nice range here to use. So I did originally have the float model of this, but I found it to be kind of useless because with the feeder reel, um, you, can, you can get away with sort of 100 pounds of line. You don't need to put plenty of line on. So even with a very low breaking strain of line, even lower than four pound, you, you can you don't need too much. Um, so the reels, no, the spools are fine for lower uh, breaking strain of line, and because they're slightly bigger, the the, the feeder really slightly bigger. 
it um, I think it lets the line off a bit smoother when you're playing a fish so the the float version is quite small and jerky I think that the um, the rear drag is a bit jerky on it and if you do a lot of commercial fishery fishing you don't really need the feed uh, the float version I would go with the feeder version and just probably get an extra spool for some lower line uh, line comes off this reel nice and easily it's lightweight quite small the uh, the back wind is nice and smooth and then the anti reverse is nice and sturdy um, the rear drag is quite good on the feeder reel I wouldn't recommend it on the, the float reel I don't like the rear drag nice and smooth and it doesn't make sort of a loud clicking either it's quite smooth and refined some cheaper reels have a really loud um, click when you're playing the fish um, the end of the handle here is rubber and it's not the kind of rubber that sort of disintegrates it's quite nice rubber so that's another good feature and it shows you on the box here I'll just bring that closer it shows you here that um, on the shallow spools there's a little indent where when you tie your line on um, the knot goes into the indent to prevent any bumps so that's another nice little feature it has there and there's a little diagram of how to, um, to load up your spool so that you can get it just right not too much line or not too little and on the back it lets you know how you can add line to your spool so um, great if you're a beginner and you just want a basic reel that does the job I would recommend this reel as I say I've had this reel for at least six years now and um, I haven't really had any problems with it and it hasn't really deteriorated either I haven't done any maintenance on it I haven't really I've given it a clean but I've not took it apart I've not oiled it it's nice and smooth still lovely little reel to just take out and rely on so I've got mine in a bag put my spare spools in here and then you can just click the handle in and you're away so that's about it for this video I just wanted to have a little talk about the Drennan Red Range feeder reel and uh, I would recommend it personally I think it's a good reel for the price I'm not sure how much they cost these days um, but I'm sure you can pick them up online relatively cheaply especially on sites like eBay so if you found this video useful please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more fishing related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time a little common carp.